Hello friends, myself Dr. Neeti Datta and today in this lesson we will discuss the teaching learning material. There is a saying probably you have heard that I hear I forget, I see I remember but I do I understand. We remember 20% of what we hear, 30% of what we see, 50% of what we see and hear but we remember 90% of what we do. After this lesson, you will be able to define TLM, teaching learning material. You will be able to categorize TLM. You will be able to distinguish between audio visual and audio visual teaching learning material. You will be able to distinguish between projected, non projected, and experiential TLM. First of all, we will discuss that what is TLM. Any object or material that is used to facilitate learning and teaching process can be considered as a teaching learning material. In a very simple words, to make the learning effective when the teacher uses certain materials to make the concepts clear in a very simpler manner that is the TLM. By using TLM in teaching learning process, Learning effectiveness can be increased, can be enhanced by the TLM. There are certain categories of TLM. Famous educationist Edgar Dale has given a very unique classification of audiovisual aids through cone of experience. See, this is the cone of experience. On the top, the text and verbal symbols and pictures and visual symbols are there. In the initially, I told you that whatever we see, we remember only 20% and gradually when we increase in learning by doing, then 90% of the learning takes place and we can observe this through the cone of experience. There are certain methods, certain TLMs are mentioned here, text, verbal symbols, picture, visual symbols, audio recordings and photos, motion pictures, exhibits field trips, demonstrations, dramatized experiences, contrived experiences and direct and pur purposeful experiences. From cognitive skills to psychomotor skills all can be developed through this by using the TLM. What are the real objects? The students get first hand experiences by directly using real objects, persons and events around them. The teacher should try to show the real objects to the student while teaching so they can get the direct experience of the objects of the concept they are expected to learn. If the teacher is simply saying and saying that this happens, is this, this looks like this, this looks like that, I think concepts cannot be made clear. But if the teacher is teaching the concept of minerals, suppose minerals, grains, soil, Whatever the soil, whichever the soil is easily available in your local environment, you can show them so that they can observe those soil, those minerals, those grains which are easily available at home. And minerals, many types of minerals are available at home only. So, this can be shown by the teacher. So, this will be the real experiences, touch by hand experience for the student. In subjects like science and social sciences, many direct experiences can be given to the student for understanding the difficult concept in an effective manner. When the students learn the concepts and feel that thing, it becomes more effective. Children can get direct experience existing in their surroundings like observing. They can watch real flowers. Not only in the pictures, not only just verbally saying that flowers look like this and that, they can show the real flowers also. They can observe the leaves, real leaves, actual leaves and they can observe the plants, shrubs, big trees on their, by their own experiences. Insects, many types of insects are found in and around our surroundings. So they can observe those insects. Teacher can take a walk in the forest or in a garden and collect useful forest products. Visiting different organizations like suppose you are teaching panchayat system. Whatever is written in the textbook, it cannot be effective 
until and unless student does not visit the original bank or panchayat or post office whatever it is whenever it is feasible the students can take a visit can take a walk up to the bank post office and they can observe their functioning suppose in the maths the teacher wants to make the concepts clear regarding the shapes in the classroom itself there are many things we can show them to make their concepts clear suppose a duster is there duster it is rectangular in shape the teacher can show the shape whichever is available in the classroom and make the concepts clear and if the he the teacher wants to make the concept clear of circle anything teacher wear bangle teacher can show the bangle anybody wears watch can the watch dial is a circle any any type of example can be given in the classroom examples itself not from the outside some tlm some teaching learning materials are prepared by the teacher maps charts pictures models toys marbles to count for the calculation for learning the uh, tables and uh, mathematical concepts color sticks flash cards number and alphabet cards are examples of some of the most common prepared tlm which is used by teachers teacher used teacher prepares teaching aids to make the concept clear for classroom requirement teacher acquired these material teacher gained these materials in two ways either she can buy he or she can buy he she can procure from it from the market or the teacher can develop own or sometimes involving the students this type of teaching learning material can be prepared some teaching materials is procured from the market uh, like um, maps globe which require accuracy because if you prepare globe accuracy cannot be achieved so these type of materials you can purchase from the market no need to develop your own now the teaching learning material can be divided into three categories like audio visual and audio visual audio means where the child with the learner can learn through listening for example suppose we want to improve the pronunciation of children then we can play the cassettes to correct the pronunciation of the students and some dialogues some speeches can be played through cassette and cd player radio is a very useful for uh, audio teaching aid some information can be given through audio materials and examples are radio broadcasts cassettes and cd players etc another teaching learning material is visual visual means learning through viewing something as earlier i told you that we learn 20% of what we hear but 30% of what we see naturally the learning increases learning level increases when we see something it is said that a picture worth picture is worth than 1000 words by seeing a picture the retaining power of brain increases for examples we everybody every time the students cannot go to the real places cannot get the real experiences and cannot get the field experience suppose we want to show the different uh, shapes we want to teach the mathematical concepts of the shapes it is easily available in in and our surroundings table rectangular it can be square mirror dice dex students chair and so on many many examples can be given in classroom through the pictures we can teach the shapes by making this type of cutting the food in different shapes watermelon is cut into the triangle shape orange 
and KB in different shapes. So, these type of concepts can be taught to the students by through the pictures and visualization becomes more effective than hearing. Suppose we want to show some monuments, this is gateway of India, we want to make them recognize the gateway of India, so every time we cannot go to the Bombay. We cannot go to the Mumbai to see the gateway of India. So, through picture, students can see how it looks like. Like India Gate, the students who are far away from Delhi, students who are residing in rural area, they can see the picture of India Gate. And wherever they see in reality, they can recall that this is India Gate. Similarly, in science, we want to teach the concept of water cycle through by making the diagram either in the blackboard or in the chart the teacher can make the concepts clear ki how evaporation take place then condensation and then precipitation and how in this way the whole water cycle comes through the picture concepts can be made clear in a very easy manner and in a simpler manner and the students can grasp it in a very easy way. Now next is the audio visual learning through both where the audio is also included and the visual is also included. This time by using the ICT, ICT what is ICT? Information and Communication Technology, both, both the senses are included the students are listening, one can listen and one can view also. TV, when you watch something, it leaves a great impact and long lasting impact basically. So, through TV, watching films, educational films and computer assisted instruction, teacher can enhance the learning capability of the students and can remove the boredom of the classroom. Now, another category of TLM is projected, non-projected and experiential. Projected means which is casted on the screen and non-projected which cannot be casted on a screen. In projected devices, OHP, overhead projector, many things we want to uh, suppose a picture is a very small in your uh, notebook or in your book and you get a very small picture from somewhere and you want to you want to make it enlarge so through hp you can show the picture in a uh, large uh, manner to the students through lcd projector you can give important information through lcd projector these days smart classrooms are in the schools and uh, many, many concepts, even biological concepts, physics, chemistry, social science, many concepts are made clear through LCD projector and small documentary films so that students can learn in a better way. Next is the non projected, which cannot be casted on the screen, like chalkboard on a simple chalk. With the help of a simple chalk, the teacher can do the wonders in the classroom. Bulletin boards, there are different type of bulletin boards where the important information can be displayed and the students can get a lot of knowledge. Globes, globes can be prepared. Earlier I told you that uh, there are two types of uh, teaching learning material which is one is uh, procured from the market and the another is which the teacher makes himself or herself. But globes and maps are something very accurate type of uh, teaching material which, which needs accuracy and this cannot be achieved by making it at home or by making by the students. So, globes, charts, etc. these are the non-projected teaching learning material. And, uh, one is experiential, it means based on your personal experiences. You have seen the picture of gateway of India, 
you have seen the picture of India Gate, but whenever you go to Delhi or Mumbai, then you see the real image of India Gate or Gateway of India or Taj Mahal or any, any other monument, immediately you recall that picture and you remember that yes, I have seen it in the picture, now this is your real. So, field trip and educational excursion gives a long lasting effect and increase your knowledge and that is your personal experience. That is your on the ground experience which you gain through field trips and educational excursions. So, at field trips are very very important as a TLM, but every every concept, every time we cannot go to the field trips, every time we cannot go to the educational excursion. So, there are different types of teaching learning material. When and where and how it is used, it depends on the circumstances, it depends on the concepts, it depends on the classroom situations. As per the classroom situations, as per the need of the students, as per the feasibility, the teacher can use different types of teaching learning material to make his or her learning effective and more, more interesting and learning can be very, very interesting. As we know that our senses are the gateways of learning, from where we learn? We learn by seeing, we learn by hearing, we learn by touching, we learn by tasting and we, we something smell and we can say that this is sore and this is something else. So, by using our different sense organs, we learn some things, we learn many things in our lives. So, senses are the gateways of learning, that is why teaching by using appropriate teaching learning material teaching learning process can be made interesting and lively. Otherwise, the classroom atmosphere will not be lively and the students will get bored easily. Their attention cannot be because the students are very small and their attention span is very less. So, if you want to take the attention of the students, it is necessary that by using different type of TLM, we can make our class interesting and lively. Secondly, boredom in teaching learning process can be removed. Obviously, if the class is lively, then boredom cannot take place in the class. Lecture method, that is why lecture method is not at all suitable for the primary or pre-primary or for the junior classes. Difficult concepts can be easily taught by using the different TLM, by using different type of using different type of senses, we can teach the difficult concepts in a very easy manner. And most of all, most important thing is that learners interest in learning can be enhanced and learning will be more effective and permanent by using TLM. In a simple class, when their teacher is not at all using any teaching learning material, the teacher's class can not, cannot be lively and cannot be full of attention. So, to seek the attention of the students, it is necessary that teachers should use the te teaching learning material to make the learning permanent. Thank you. Hope this lesson will be useful for you. Thank you very much.